Welcome all summon. Today we are looking at a little gameplay footage and I'm gonna tell you about the Norns from Norse mythology. So we see them here in this mission after we drink the potion from uh, Valva and uh, when we follow the wolf and Sigurd in this mission that you've probably played uh, we come across three mysterious women here weaving uh, fabric uh, looking like they're soaked in blood. So what is this? Well these are the Noidnit or Norns. And uh, there are many Norns in the Norse myths, but uh, the three most recognized and most powerful and almighty ones were named uh, Urdir, uh, Veldandi, and uh, Skuld. And everyone thinks that these just mean past, present, and future, but their names really mean something like uh, fate, um, and then that which is happening now, and uh, debt, actually, like something you owe. So it's, it's kind of like past, present, and future, but kind of... Uh, metaphorical and elusive uh, like much of the other characters in the Norse myths what their names really mean and these three women are the weavers of faith that control a person's destiny and this is um, you know uh, nothing new to European mythology we find weavers of fate just like this in Greek and Roman mythology and a lot of other places from all over Europe uh, now these weavers of fate are extremely complex and I can talk about them for many hours with all the texts and the sources that we find uh, mentioned of them and I'll tell you what they really represent in a further video and um, on my other channel that uh, video will be in the link in the description below I'll at least it, release it pretty soon but I do have uh, time to share one quick thing that you guys will find interesting that you probably didn't know uh, so the Norns were all over the place in the sources and they were said to show up at many different times they had many different functions but one of their most important functions was at childbirth they were always said to come around to shape the child's fate, and it's the child's destiny when it was born. And it was a tradition in Viking times and uh, before in pagan times to uh, call upon the Norns and other Dísir, or female spirits, at childbirth to ensure, uh, you know, a healthy, happy child with a good uh, destiny. In one Viking saga, the heroine in the saga, which was a midwife called uh, Odrun, um, and, and a woman, uh, Borgni, she was uh, struggling through childbirth and Olderin was helping her and she calls upon the Norns with a beautiful chant and it saved the woman and the child from death. Um, so um, the Norns were something that could be called with a song and also some sort of uh, offering. So we think that the beliefs in the Norns is just a pagan thing and it died out when Christianity came into Scandinavia, but uh, absolutely not. We have a tradition in rural Scandinavia that survived until really just a century ago. Um, when a child was born, we would make a porridge as an offering and uh, we call it Norn porridge or Norn grita. And the Sami also had this and they call it Saraka porridge. Um, and most of us from rural areas in Norway uh, we'll have grandparents or maybe great-grandparents that's probably heard about this custom and have told it to us. So um, even though paganism officially ended a thousand years ago, paganism uh, traditions uh, never died out at all. We still have some, and this is just one of them. I will go over many more in other videos. So that's about it for today. We say us nestegang. And where it ends.